what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today we're finally done with the machine polishing of the zl1 and it is time to show you guys how to apply ceramic coating and just how amazing that stuff is that is loud Now, before we get into the video, guys, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys that support the channel. We are growing, getting bigger and bigger by the day, and I couldn't be doing this without you guys being interested in my content and what we provide here on the channel. So if you haven't, consider hitting the like button if you like what you see, and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our ZL1 content and other speed-related news. Now, with that being said, let's get right to talking about this ZL1, guys. So we finally finished machine polishing this whole car and it is very time consuming guys honestly machine polishing is a very very time consuming job and takes quite a bit of time and but when it's all said and done guys this thing looks amazing any car with a machine polish job done to remove any swirls really gets everything to pop even more off of the paint let's go ahead and we'll go back through and wipe everything off remove the blue tape and get ready to show you guys what we're going to be using for the graphene ceramic coating we got the camaro back up in the air it'll make it easy for us to do the application not to be bending over similar to the machine polishing and also help us with removing the wheels when it comes time to applying it on the wheels but guys this is what we're going to be working with and that is of course the Adams graphene ceramic coating kit which actually comes with quite a bit of stuff guys so first of all you do get these three liquids and this being the star of the hour this is the graphene ceramic coating now along with that you do get the Adams surface prep which is what we're going to be using to remove any of the excess oils I, from the car we do have a UV light, which actually reacts with this to let us know when we're applied stuff. We also get a ceramic boost, so you apply this after you've applied the graphene ceramic coating and have let it cured. You can go ahead and throw in some ceramic boost to, to really enhance the gloss of the graphene coating. You get actual gloves, which you're gonna be using because you don't wanna get this in your hands. You get two gray applicator suede pads, which are going to be nice. You get some suede gray towels, which you will use after, right after you ap apply the coating. You wipe off with these. And if there's any extra residue left over, you have the Adam Single Polishes that comes with two of them. We will be using one of them with our surface prep and then of course if you gets too wet with one we give you a second one to use so all this and of course they do give you this nice installation instructions so it's pretty simple so you can go through the instructions here and basically you want to first prep the place using the surface prep and the two single soft towels and then when it's time to do the application you're going to be using the coating the suede applicators the suede towels and the gloves so very very simple um, again the kit comes with instructions but i'll show you guys exactly what we got to do and how we do it through the process now why atoms and not other coatings guys well because atoms is very user friendly this stuff is going to be really really good and last almost as long i believe this has a two to three year like longevity which is amazing perfect 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 and should give us that high gloss ultra hydrophobic properties for you know years to come so without further ado let's get right to doing the application all right so first step into the ceramic coating application is to go ahead and use the Adam's surface prep it's the purple bottle and basically just swipe and spray lightly you don't need to go too heavy on it just kind of let it prime 
There you go. You just you just missed, and then wipe away. That's all you're doing. You're misting and wiping. Misting and wiping. And that's going to get rid of any of the remaining oils. It's basically like alcohol, denatured alcohol, guys. And but it will completely get rid of any of the oils and get you prepared for the application. Now, you could go ahead and uh, do the surface prep to the whole car. The hardest part is done, to be honest, the wiping away and doing all that. That is probably the hardest part of this process. Now it's time to actually do the application of the ceramic coating. And the instructions say work in a three by three foot area. So basically take it small sections at a time all the way across. So this fender here, I would probably do this piece here as one piece, another piece there, a third piece here, and then four piece. So I would play, split this fender up into four pieces and just really work my way through small pieces at a time. They do provide you the gloves and all the stuff that you need. And of course the UV light, which I'll show you guys how that works here in a moment. But for now, let me go ahead and put the gloves on, get all the application stuff ready, and we'll show you guys how to apply it and just how easy or how difficult it could be. Okay, so we've got our suede applicator. And you'll see one side has the stitching. Obviously, we don't want to use that side, but the opposite side is nice and smooth. So this is where we're going to be applying our ceramic coating. And then, of course, we've got our suede microfiber towel. And we get two of each. So the plan is to use one for this whole car with the towel and then use the other one with the other suede towel for the wheels. Now. What we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and grab our graphene ceramic coating. Make sure we shake it up. We wanna make sure this is nice and shaken uh, just in case there's any kind of separants or things that could come out. And of course, you definitely wanna be using gloves. I will say the gloves that are provided are pretty insufficient. I would say, not insufficient, but they're pretty cheap. So if you can get your own latex gloves, probably a lot better for you. So. You got to press down on the cap and spin around and that opens up our cap here so now move this cap out of the way so now we're just going to put a nice healthy strip down the middle here there you go so it and of course make sure that you cap off your ceramic coating you don't want that to go and all you're going to do guys is start applying go left to right in a crosshatch pattern and it just glides since we just machine polished this guys this is just gliding over the paint and we got to make sure it's nice and applied so you're gonna go left to right and then up and down so we want to do that and you'll notice that the coating actually starts to go like turn to a rainbow color effect and once that rainbow color effect kind of dissipates, then you know it is time to go ahead and remove the coating. So and up and down, left and right once, and you're gonna see it actually changing colors. And I'm not sure if this is gonna show up or not, but the paint is curing. And up in the top corner, you can see it just basically cures. And it doesn't take, it really doesn't take too long, guys, for this to, really cure and then you can just go ahead and get your towel and wipe off the excess you'll see the color starts to kind of fade out it doesn't become as strong and that's when you can come in here and just wipe off any of the excess with this towel and voila we get so now you make sure you wipe off all the excess left to right, up and down, and 
you're good to go. Now, once the coating's been applied, guys, Adams does sell a kit with this UV light, black light. It's a black light light. And basically, you can go ahead and shine it across and see your ceramic coating apply it. And you can tell whether it's been evenly applied or not, which is pretty darn cool. So let's see if I can bring you guys here. And I'm not sure if this can pick it up, but there you go. You see? You see where it's nice and blue and it's nice and even. There's no streaks or anything across. It's really, really nice, nice reflection. And then you get over to the non -app applicated side and you can see there's no UV really. But when you get up over here, you can definitely see. And that is how you're able to tell whether you did a good job applying. So right there, you see there's a spot where I did not apply it too well. So you can definitely go ahead and go back over that spot. Same right here. So the light's actually pretty cool and is gonna allow us to make sure that we apply this super evenly. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Um, now if you do happen to apply a little bit too much or leave it on too long and it's not wiping off, all you have to do is go back and put a little bit more of the ceramic coating on top and buff off right away guys letting the same ceramic liquid up touch itself reactivates itself and lets you go back through and even things out so now i'm just going to go ahead and start working in through this whole car and sh show you guys kind of the end result car is back on the ground I've gone ahead and completed all of the surrounding sides front bumpers rear bumpers so now the only thing really left is the hood the windows the roof and the trunk and of course the wheels but man whew. I love working on cars guys but paint correcting using the machines and applying this ceramic coating definitely definitely is time consuming it's, a, it's why they charge you so much to do any kind of paint correction and coatings because it is very time consuming guys just doing the, the whole side was roughly around about i'd say an hour hour and a half and that's because i was going through and again checking making sure as you see that the coating was applied evenly and it was covering everything so it's definitely not something that you want to do if you don't have the enough free time or the space to be able to do it over a multiple days because it is going to take you quite a bit of time again I, i'm on going on a week now tomorrow tomorrow will be one week since I started this paint correction process, just working a little bit, an hour here, an hour there, and most of the weekend. But we're almost at the finish line, guys. We've just got to do the hood, the roof, and the trunk with the windows. And after you apply the coating, you do have to wait about 24 hours or so to ensure the coating cures well onto the paint before it sees any kind of rain or really harsh elements. So that's going to give me so that's going to give me some time to be able to get to work on the wheels probably later on down this week but we're getting close once we finish that up guys that'll be it the paint correction and the detailing will be done and now it's going to be time to get this thing back to the track we finally have some pretty good weather as you see and it looks like we'll be able to go back racing here in the next week or so. So that's pretty awesome. I'm excited. We've got a bunch of stuff coming, guys. So make sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing because 
we've got track days coming up we're probably gonna be going to mexico now that we've got some mods on the zl1 i'm still waiting on my plates so hopefully those come in here in a little bit but other than that guys this car is beautiful and gonna be looking just as good as it does fast so with that being said guys there you go this is how you can ceramic coat your car the ceramic coating itself is not bad at all it's the machining and the paint correcting that is what really makes this a long hard job the coating itself goes by very quickly and is going to be amazing can't wait to show you guys in future videos just how the water beads right off of the paint with this ceramic coating should help maintain the car clean even though we don't really drive it in adverse elements it should help maintain it clean and make it easy to wash so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video the adams product super simple super easy to apply and overall has been really great to work with and really really recommend it for those that are looking to do a diy ceramic ceramic coating kit the graphene ceramic coating kit a1 so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one